In today's video, we're going to go over the Arizona Cardinals zone beater in Madden NFL 20. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time checking out my channel, what I want to encourage you to do is join us over at Discord. Uh, my channel basically just focusing on helping you get better at Madden NFL 20. And we're trying to get everybody from my channel to get over to Discord so we can chat, talk Madden, have questions, dialogue. So it's a really, really great platform, and I hope to see you over there. A link to join it is in the comments and description of this video. If that link's expired, you can text me. My number's in the description, and you can also ask me any question Madden that way, but you can get the link that way as well. All right, so we're in a series right now. We're talking about the five sets for success, and one of the sets for success is zone beaters. So what are the what is the formation that you're going to go to? If you're seeing a lot of zone, which we see a lot of zone in Madden NFL 20, what I want to show you is a quick zone beater that you can use from the Arizona Cardinals playbook, and in my opinion, it's probably one of the best route combinations in the entire game this year, and it's from from the gun bunch sh halfback strong cluster cluster halfback strong here and the audibles you're going to set up is you're going to put the mesh you're going to put the mesh post and then you're going to put the play post dig in your audibles okay the play that we're going to come out in just because and, and again i don't run a lot of halfback draws i just i personally don't like them i don't think they're very consistent right but the play that we're going to come out in, just so that you can kind of get a feel for what we're doing here, and the play that I want to break down the most is the play Mesh Post. Now, this route combination that I'm about to show you is very much so a little bit of advanced. Um, you're going to change a lot of things on this. Now, again, you can run this right here stock, and you'll see this beats zone coverage. This route to um, Zach Ertz is one of the best, best little routes in the game. It's just a little fly route to the left side, but you see you can swerve catch it. And and if you don't know how to swerve catch, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a little bit of a breakdown about how to do that in one of our future videos. But basically what you do is, and you want to be doing this every year. It's not just Madden, um, not just Madden 20 that you want to be doing this. Now, granted, the methods change a little bit, but what you want to do is you want to take that guy, that, that guy that you're trying to catch the ball, and you want to click onto him, and you want to just kind of swerve him in and out. And what it's going to do is the game is going to basically give him a little bit better of an animation for him to be able to catch the ball. That's kind of the foundation of this route. And again, against zone coverage, which you're going to see a lot of, it's a really good route because it just kind of gets over the clouds. It's kind of in that in that um, area of the field. And so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of build around that route within our setup here. So what I like to do, there's a couple of there's a couple of different methods for beating zone defense, but essentially what it all revolves around is putting defenders in conflict and flooding the zones. Meaning, um, if you're facing like, for example, if you're facing a cover four, well, well the majority of the fit of the defenders in the cover, f or I'm sorry, a cover two, the the majority of the defenders in the cover two are in the underneath zones. However, what what teams have started to figure out is they can throw that middle linebacker in the deep blue, and he's going to start in the underneath but then he's going to go deep and it kind of helps play a little deep to short and so now really what they've got is it's actually more of a cover three out of a cover two and so they really only have four people in the underneath zones and they have um five different people in the over top zones now in order to show this i just want to kind of go seven on seven so i can show you the route concepts for this but this is a very very good route combination what i'm about to show you um not a lot of people i, I I'm, I'm not a lot of people are running this and i'm I'm actually very surprised. So this is a really, really good route combination. Here's the setup for this. You're going to take Jeffrey. You're going to put him on a streak right up the seam. And so if they're running, if they're running some type of cover three or they're running some type of, if they're not disciplined in the seam, they're going to have an issue because Jeffrey's going to attack him vertically. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my running back. You can leave him on his route. That's fine if you want to. He's on a nice little mesh wheel route, which will, which will be great, especially as man-to-man -man coverage. But in my opinion, because of the way the defense has played this year, I will typically end up putting him on a little blue route, and then I will likely ID somebody on the defensive line again because – I'm getting pressured a lot. I'm sure you are. Um, but basically, I will use my running back to block, right? Then I'm going to take Aguilar right here, and I'm going to put him on just a little baby hitch route. Now, you could leave him on his mesh route if you'd like to. 
Um, and actually, um, you can you can you can just leave him. It, it actually will work a little bit better if you leave him on his mesh route. So we're just going to leave him on his mesh route right there, and then we'll take the running back. And again, you can blue route him. You could put him on a. You could do anything you want with your running back. He's kind of free reign. Um, but again, I like to block him just because of how how busy the pressure is this year. The the key routes that you need is you need the streak. You need the little um, angled corner route there from Ertz. You need the post route from Jackson. And then Nelson Aguilar, you could either put him on a hitch and have him as a nice quick read, or you could put him on a drag. What I like about putting him on a drag is he's going to basically be on a hitch at the end of the day anyway, especially against zone defense. So let's show you how this play works. So the first read on this play is going to be the seam. And if they stay disciplined on the seam, you see you're going to, with a pass lead up and up, I'm going to be able to hit that hit that uh, Zach Ertz route very, very, very effectively. Um, so let's show you this real quick. So that's this is cover four co or cover two. Cover two is going to give you probably the hardest time with this because the deep the deep halves are probably, in my opinion, they're the most disciplined of all the deep zones um, when it comes to defending those outbreaking type patterns. Uh, and also in combination with the seams here. But you'll see, if I have time in the pocket, I can get a nice little possession catch on the outside there with Zach Ertz. Now, that's just that's that's going to be good against everything. So let me show you cover four. So this, this defense I'm about to go against is cover four. Let me get out. Let me call cover four. Cover four. So... This is this is uh, just a basic cover four drop zone, which you'll face a lot of this. You'll see this seam route up. The seam is not quite there, but that route right there is wide open against the cover four drop. Against cover three, let me show you cover three. So if they go to a cover three zone, again, that's just a very simple setup right here. But against a cover three zone, again, my first read is Jeffrey up the seams to see what happens. You can you can kind of do a little ag catch, but I wouldn't recommend it because he's so tight, because it's so compressed. You got to be a little bit careful with that. You got to be a little bit careful with how you're attacking the deep zones. But if they get undisciplined and they start trying to do some different things, you're gonna have an open window to throw that um, that streak. That's why you want to have there. It's basically just a hold route. But as you can see, you can still you can easily throw that other or throw that route to the sideline. So that leaves cover two to basically take care of. How do you beat cover two? You beat cover two, in my opinion, over the middle of the field. The cloud flats are going to do a decent job. Um, again, if you have a rollout quarterback, you could get out of the pocket and do all that stuff. But you'll see the vert hook's going to go with him. The cloud, if you pass lead him up, you see there with that zoned out ability, Earl Thomas is going to be able to get over there. But, but it's kind of tender. It's kind of tender. Okay. Um, it's not, it's not a hundred percent and that's cloud flats if they're in hard flats or they're in soft squats you'll be able to easily throw this but again pass lead up you're going to get that little back little little dot over the uh, over the top of the defense now um if if they take that away which they likely will because most people understand that about this formation so what they're going to do is they're going to try to take away zach Ertz. well what that's going to do is it's going to leave open this route combination on the right side of the field this little drag right there is going to beat every single coverage in the game every single coverage in the game if they're in man if they are in any zone coverage this is why i love mesh so much this is why i'm so passionate about mesh any coverage in the game, that route to Aguilar is going to win every single time. The best Madden players, the, you look in year in and year out, are the ones that take that route over and over again. One of the reasons I really like the cluster, a lot of you guys have talked to me. Um, I've gotten a lot of comments in my air raid videos, and if you haven't seen those, be sure to go to the channel, check them out, because I think they're really, really good. But a lot of people have talked about, well, what happens if they press? What happens if they do this? What happens if they do that? From spread, they can press you. From compression, they can't. That's why when you run mesh post out of compression, out of the cluster, in my opinion, it is a, a thousand times better than when you run it from spread. Because if you run it from spread, it's challenging from a plethora of reasons but one of the main reasons it's so challenging is because if 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 i run it from spread this is what happens let me show you so if i if i'm just playing this is just good old cover two sync right and you guys have seen me 
you probably saw I played, and this is just basic routes, right? What's going to happen is that right there. You see there's that press, and then there's no window to throw it. There's no window to throw the ball. That's why compression clusters, those formations exist. That's literally why they exist. So what's going to happen is they're going to come down, and they're going to – this is cover to sink – and I, I turned it into a Tampa two very simply, right? And they're and they're just going to man line and press. Now, what's going to happen is if you play this out a little bit, you're going to take Jeffrey and you're going to put him on a streak. Sanders, you're going to put him on a block and release. Watch, and then I just threw a spy in there, just just basic max coverage. So the left side, the drag is going to come over, and then you see right there he's going to sit. That literally, in my opinion, is one of the best. That's what makes it so effective. So if him sitting against his own, I cannot tell you how many times, like if people are usering you, they literally can't stop their user for that. If they use her the drag, if if they use her the drag, which they probably won't, they're probably going to use her the post route, but if they use her the drag, they're going to keep running. What's beautiful about this play is, is the drag stops. It's the only drag in the game, the only specific type of route in the game that stops. There you see he did get a press, but you see there, and I just got a really bad throw from Carson Wentz, but you see him stop. That's one of the main, main reasons this is so good from the compressed set, because he's going to get, he's more than likely he's going to get a free release. If he does get pressed, he's going to get open faster off of that free, free release. And as you can see right in there. Now, if you wanted to, um, if you wanted to, you could put him on a hitch route and it would still, everything would still work exactly the same. But again, I just really, really like that mesh route for so many reasons. But anyway, I think this is there's cover four right there. And as you see, every zone, every doesn't matter what zone it is. Now, more than likely, what they're going to do is they're going to use her the route. They're going to use her it with um, with their middle linebacker. And so what that's going to mean is it's going to leave a little bit of a void in the back end of the defense. So they're going to number one, they're going to take away the middle seam. So watch snap the ball. Right there's wide open that little pocket. Now, more than likely, they're going to start. If they, if they jump the streak, you're going drag. If they jump the drag, you're going streak. Now, if they don't do either, or if they're able to get back on it, let me show you what you do. This route to this post route is, is really, really effective. You can throw it at two different points. You can throw it right there, and you can get, a, you can get an aggressive catch. And let me take, let me get that linebacker out of the way. But you can throw it against anything. It doesn't. You, you can throw that that post route pretty much against anything in the game. Um, let me show you real quick here. I know this video is going a little bit longer than I had thought, but it's just because I got on a little bit of a soapbox on this. But right, ah, I'm throwing. I'm throwing it too early. I'm throwing it too early. You can throw it. You can throw it at two different points. So let me show you. I because I can't see the guy because I'm using two controllers on defense and it's kind of messing things up. But you can throw it at two specific points. You could throw it at right as soon as he breaks, or you can throw it late. Right as soon as he breaks or late. So looking left, no, right, no, right, breaks right there. And I got it. I don't know why he threw a touch pass. But if you throw a hard pass lead inside, you're going to get a user catch. Um, you want to, trust me, trust me when I tell you this, you really, 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 really will not regret. You want to click on to him. And the reason that you want to click on to him is so that you can get the same animation every time. And I actually like I like to aggressive it. But right there, because you see you're going to get that diving animation. That diving animation is going to be really effective because you're going to be able to throw it over linebackers' heads. It, that's why it doesn't matter. if they're Like if they're in cover two, let me just show you. If they're in cover two and I run mesh post, let me just show you this real quick. Watch Jackson here at the snap of the ball. So I'm going to step up. He cuts in. I'm aggressive catching. Ah, I got a bad animation. But you're you're going to be able to do that once he gets that inside position. That's what you're basically looking for. Um, let me show you this again real quick. So this is cover two, and again in, in cover two, cover two is going to do the best. But you're still going to have the drag, and you're still going to have everything. So late in the play. So if I look, I'm looking left, straight, no, 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 right there. And you see if, and I was a little bit late throwing that, but right when he cuts and that's why you got to work on your progressions and your timing but right when he cuts that's when you're going to be able to hit that so again 
Snap of the ball, I'm looking left. No, no. Now right there, if I pass it, I can get it right over the linebacker, as you can see. So that's the two two way approach to throwing it. Now the mid read, more than likely, the more you play mad and the more you realize that a lot of times the mid read, they're gonna put him into a deep third and then they're going to user this guy onto somebody. Um, to show to illustrate this, I'm just gonna put him in just a standard hook curl. But this is this is kind of a, a defense that you'll this you will see something like this set up. That mid read more times than not is gonna go into a deep middle third. If he goes into a deep middle third, it's gonna be even more wide open. So I'm looking left, no, looking up, right there. And I don't know why I don't know why Carson Wentz is throwing touch passes. I'm literally you want to make sure it's a bullet pass. So it's actually absolutely really 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 important. But let me show you here. This is the mid read, and again they're just gonna put it put it right into the um, right into the seams and snap of the ball here. And you'll see I'm just gonna I'm just showing Jackson's route, but pass lead hard inside, and there you get the diving animation. That's what we're looking for. So you can throw that at two different points in the route, and that's what makes it so effective. Because if late in the play, if things break down, right, they have to use their Jackson through the whole play. That's the key. So if they if they get off of him, see that right there, and there I threw it a little bit too early, but you'll see you'll see Zach Ertz. Um, let me throw him in a deep third instead of a blitz. So you'll see here. Um, now again, remember, remember all that your all of your quick reads that we talked about. You're looking to your seam. You're looking to Zach Ertz. It's progression based. So up the seam is going to hit it. Nope, nope. I wait, 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 wait. Pass lead it up into the outside, and you can hit that corner route right over the top of the defense. So that's what makes this play so effective. There's multiple other plays from this playbook that can beat zone coverage, specifically cover two. If you go to cover two and they're running, um, and you run the play verticals, right? Just like this very simple, very, very simple little play here. But you're going to see the route to circle is going to get over the cloud. Whoops. Um, you need to. You probably need to take that tight end right there, and you want to put him on a on just a simple fade route. But what's going to happen is they're going to they're going to do something like this. Well, you're going to go to your verticals play, and you'll see right when he gets over the cloud, it's pass lead to the right. You can click on rack catch it, and you're up the sidelines. So there's a plethora of ways to do it. One of the other things I really like to do from this play uh, formation, there's just so much in this formation, but running standard mesh, you'll be surprised how well this, this concept works. This, this basic, basic, basic concept, just standard mesh post and standard mesh from here, you'll see you're still able to throw this route, which is so effective to Zach Ertz. So this is the best, in my opinion, this is one of the best zone defensive or zone beating de offenses in the entire game. And actually, if you run, um, if you run, let's say you run the play mesh, well, you can take Zach Ertz. If you're wanting to work the right side of the field a little bit more, you can take Zach Ertz and just put him on a streak. And this streak right here um, is going to, again, set your mesh routes up for success. It's going to set your mesh routes up for success. So, anyways, guys, this video has gone a little bit longer than I had hoped, but I wanted to really dive into the zone beating, and I hope it was helpful. If this was helpful to you, what I want to encourage you to do is I want to encourage you to join our Discord server. Some of you might not know what Discord is, but basically what it is is it is a platform where we can talk as a community, as a YouTube channel, one-on-one. -on -one. We can have, qu have dialogue as a group. I've really been enjoying it. I've learned a lot about it. I didn't know anything about it until I... I downloaded it and started using it, but that's going to be kind of the place where we're going to release a lot of our stuff firsthand. So you're going to get the stuff as soon as it comes out. You're going to get it before the YouTube channel gets it. You're going to get access to all of our eBooks and stuff before anybody else will. So this is just a great platform. You're going to be notified of some great stuff. And also you're going to have the opportunity to talk with people who are also trying to get better in Madden 20 and ultimately Madden 21. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, be sure to join our Discord.